This episode is sponsored by The Alcohol Experiment, a free 30-day challenge designed to interrupt your patterns, give you control, restore your health, and put you back in touch with the version of you who doesn't need alcohol to cope, relax, or enjoy life. More than 220,000 people have already tried The Alcohol Experiment for themselves and have seen improved sleep, increased happiness, reduced anxiety, and so much more. Join thousands in this inspiring, hopeful, and exciting program where you examine your beliefs and reconnect with the best version of you without ever feeling like you're missing out. Start today for free at alcoholexperiment.com. Hi, this is Annie Grace and welcome to this Naked Mind podcast. And today I am answering questions from from you all, from people in our programs, from people who write in. And so enjoy. Um, I don't want to drink wine, but I still crave it after 60 days. I'm assuming this feeling subsides over time. I must start believing that alcohol doesn't provide a benefit. So like so many things, the answer is in the question. You must start believing that alcohol doesn't provide a benefit, but you cannot just start believing something without the right information. If I told you, I want you to just start believing the earth is flat. (laughs) I want you to just start believing we landed on the moon. I don't know. Um, You would need a lot of information a lot of proof to start believing that. So what this naked mind offers and what the path specifically offers is a lot of proof in order for you to start believing that. And then you won't crave it. Does that make sense? Um, How do you reprogram our subconscious with the true knowledge? How do we ensure that it's the correct knowledge we are feeding ourselves? So I have really strict criteria. It is either my own personal story, which you can take or leave, of course, because I, I'm telling you through my stories or my analogies, or it is a scientific study that we can point to and it's all sourced. So there's, you know, all of the studies are there and it's great because people like they get excited and they go do their own research and it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, I am so afraid that if I'm kinder to myself, that I'll just keep letting myself off the hook. How do I move beyond the shame and fear of being kind to myself? <sighs> This is the best question. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? Why can we have compassion for other people, but it's so hard to have compassion for ourselves? It is so, so difficult. Um, And I think it's because it's a really deep rut. So I call a deep rut, a patterned thought in your brain that you've thought over and over and over again. And this tool of beating ourselves up is a tool that we've used over and over and over again. Now we haven't used it uh, to any real success. So I think you need to really unpack and look at that fear and say, okay, I'm afraid. What am I afraid of? Am I afraid of being like, you know, on the street, two, six packs in? Am I afraid of, uh, you know, what, what is it that you're afraid of? And then try it. Try it. Do a day, one day, where every time you think something nasty of yourself, you stop and you just say, you know what? I'm doing the best I can with the tools I have. You know what? I'm a human being. Human beings are just not perfect and that's okay. And then try a week. And I promise you that if you do this, if you can find kindness for yourself, your drinking will go down. And if you can't do it for yourself, that is why it's so important to surround yourself with a community of people who can help to do it for you. And when they show you compassion, you learn how to have it for yourself. And even more importantly, when you are in a community and you show up with compassion for the other people in the community, your brain learns how to have that compassion for yourself. Because suddenly they're saying something, you're like, well, I didn't even do that. That's even worse than the thing I'm feeling beating myself up about. But you look at them and they're another human being. And for some reason you can be like, but it's okay. And then your brain says, oh, but if that's okay, I must also be okay. That's why, that's why we do all of our programs in community. And it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's just how we do things. It's what's been, you know, I've seen over all the, all the work I've done to make the most effective programs I possibly can, that community is really, really important. And I think that's one of the reasons why. Have you tried the alcohol experiment? Okay, if not, drop everything and go to thisnakedmind.com forward slash experiment. 
This free 30-day challenge is designed to interrupt your patterns and put you back in touch with the best version of you. You remember it was that version of you that's living your most joyful life, the version that doesn't need alcohol to relax or to have a good time and is having more fun than ever. And again, this is a totally free challenge that will change everything for you. So learn more and join me 100% free at thisnakedmind.com forward slash experiment. And as always, rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast as it truly helps the message reach somebody who might need to hear it today.